Hi, my name is James St. George and I'm a second year engineering student at Acadia University. And like everybody else, I enjoy the natural light the sun provides. Three months ago, my group and I started working on a way to incorporate natural light in buildings and houses. <clears throat> Windows are nice to look through, but don't provide sufficient light for offices and classrooms throughout the entire day. Artificial lights use significant amount of power and don't provide the same warmth and clarity as sunlight. The, the product we designed uses less than one watt of electricity and provides the same amount of light as five 100 watt light bulbs. My question is simple. Why don't all buildings incorporate natural sunlight? The environment that we live in is inadequate and tiring due to artificial light. So I have a second question. Why aren't we all living and working under the sun? There are presently four methods at providing natural light in buildings and houses. The first is the window. It can provide sufficient light in a room, but unfortunately the sun has to be facing it, which means that it can't provide light all times of the day. A skylight can be thought of as a window, except it's on the roof. Also, not all rooms can incorporate windows or skylights. Then there's something innovative, a sun tunnel. It consists of a dome, usually made of acrylic, and a, a flexible pipe with a re reflective capacity. Sun enters through the dome and goes down the pipe into a room, which can also be at the interior of a house. Our product, in a nutshell, is a sun tunnel, except it reflects the light directly down minimizing losses. We call this product the Sun Tracker. During our design process we consulted Dr. Michael Robertson from the Department of Physics. He presented us with three methods of detecting light. The first one was an LED. It has a good size, good directionality, unfortunately though its voltage has a range of about 0 to 10 millivolts. This means that we would have to add in an op amp so that a microcontroller could measure it. The second method is a solar cell. It has a voltage that's very choppy between 0 and 5 volts. Also, combined with its large size and it's not directional, was not suitable for our project. The third method is a photoresistor. It has a resistance which is sensitive from 2 kilo ohms to 2 mega ohms. It's a great, a great size. Unfortunately, it's not directional. For our project, we decided to go with the photoresistor, adding in a tube to increase directionality. We also consulted Jim Pitcher, a local carpenter with experience in sun tunnels. He explained the installation process along with the key features of the product. It was with this insight that we realized there's no sense in rebuilding the wheel. The product is already proven and it has a high demand. Next, I would like Adel to present our design solution.